welcome to a new vlog. I am so excited to be filming again. It is the first week of September and to me this is officially the start of fall. I know it technically is not the start of fall but I am so excited for the autumn season and it's really cool because the weather kind of changed overnight. Since September 1st it's been chilly outside especially in the mornings and the evenings and during the day it's been kind of like sunny and a little cool so it has been the perfect fall weather so I'm just really enjoying it. And so for my first vlog back, I wanted to just do a cozy get ready for autumn vlog. I'm going to be doing some decorating, I'm going to be doing some baking, and just make it a nice cute cozy vlog. When my daughter Luna wakes up from her nap, we are going to go check out a local farm stand. It is like a 10 minute walk down the road, so it's not too far, but I heard that they have their fall stuff out including pumpkins and some cute Halloween decor, so we're going to go check that out and we're going to take you guys along with us. I think I found the perfect pumpkin. It's this one right here. <laughs> to me. Pumpkin. Oh. Yep, this is the perfect one. We will take it home. It is a while later. We are back from the farm stand and I'm so glad we went because it was so cute. It made me feel so happy. Um, we got there and I didn't realize how much fall stuff they were going to have. They had so many pumpkins. It was so fun because we took Luna and we put her in the little pumpkin patch and she was just standing there beating on the pumpkin smiling. She was so happy. And they had a lot of good produce and they even had the section with like pre-cut flowers that you can pick. Um, by the stem and yeah it was so cute they had some Halloween decorations and everything and just made it really cozy looking I'll show you what we got we got of course <laughs> I had to get a little pumpkin this was, this was two dollars and we got it for Luna we put it in the living room when we had gotten home and she just sat there for like 10 minutes hitting it and talking to it it was really really cute then we got some tomatoes and just little cherry tomatoes and they looked really good so so we're gonna have these in our salad this week and i also picked up some flowers <laughs> to decorate with because they're really pretty um i need to trim them and then i'm gonna put them in my bud vases i have these little bud vases that i really like and i thought they'd look really pretty in them but yeah, I think I'm going to let these just rest in here for in this little cup <laughs> for now, um, and I'll worry about them tomorrow. I really want to start decorating the house with the stuff that I have. I think Andrew and I are going to have dinner real quick, and then we'll start decorating. I decided to do something crazy, and usually I decorate for Halloween just straight away in September, but this year I think I'm going to start with some more generic fall decor and then decorate for Halloween either in late September or very like straight away October 1st. Um, I decided to do it that way this, this year just because I feel like it might make it feel a little bit more special in October when it is Halloween time instead of just decorating for everything straight away. I don't know if I'll do it the same next year but we're gonna try it this year. So let me show you what I have. This is the decor that we have so far. I do have, I am cheating, I'm putting out a few <laughs> Halloween things. My mom gave me this little witch lantern and I absolutely love it. She's had this for forever and I think it's so cool. It has a little string so you can hang it up. And then inside you can put a tea light. I have one of my little beeswax tea lights in there. And then the other Halloween stuff that I'm putting out is mostly just some stuff for Luna. There's this um, mummy stuffed animal that I showed you in my last vlog, actually. And then here I have this fleece blanket with bats on it. It's just like a little tiny throw blanket. I believe I got it at Target. And then this little pumpkin stuffed animal with a ghost inside of it. That's also for Luna. But everything else is basically just fall decor. Hi, new new. I got this wreath this year, which is just some faux 
flowers and I thought it was very pretty. I got it at a little shop in town and I'm going to put this on my front door. And I also got this pillow this year with just little pumpkins on it and I thought that would be really cute for the couch. Everything else is just stuff that I already had. I have some little pumpkins over here I'm going to put out. Um, some pumpkin dish towels. I also have some faux garlandy stuffs with some leaves and some pumpkins, which I'm gonna put on a shelf, I believe. Oh, and the other two Halloween things. <laughs> I'm so I'm cheating so bad. I'm I'm still putting out Halloween things. Um, these are little magnets that I actually got from my grandmother's house. They're just really old looking, and I thought they were cool, so I'm gonna use those on my fridge. But yeah, this is everything. It's not too much. It's going to be pretty simple decor for now. And then later on in the month, or like I said, maybe the very beginning of October, I'll make another video showing all my Halloween decor because I have, I have quite a bit of Halloween decor, but I wanted to just start off with this stuff for now. I'm going to start in the living room. And normally I would put a lot of decor on my TV stand and make it look really cute. But this year... We're gonna do it a little different because our baby has just started crawling and so we are in the midst of baby proofing our living room to make it like a safe place for her so we are actually redoing the whole thing taking everything off the tv stand and putting the tv on the wall so there will be no decor on the tv stand this year so instead i'm going to just focus on decorating the shelf above the tv and then putting a few things on like the bookshelves and stuff and that's gonna be it
guys, it is the next day. I finished a lot of the decorating last night. It was so much fun. Um, there's a few things that I would like to do this evening. One of those things is to organize my coffee area. I'm so excited because we've had the same coffee maker for like six years <laughs> and it's, we I didn't realize how slow it was. It takes like 30 minutes to brew a pot of coffee. It's just a regular like drip coffee maker. And so we finally decided to get a new one and it brews 12 cups of coffee in like five minutes. It is crazy. I'm so happy. So um, anyways, I would like to decorate my coffee area. I've seen so many fall decorating videos where they do really, really cute coffee bar areas. And I'm not going to do anything as intense as the videos that I've seen, even though they're really, really nice. Um, I'm just going to do something really simple and just use the stuff that I have. I didn't buy any like cute garland or anything for it, but we'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, let's go do that. So I cleared off this area, but this is the coffee maker in question. As you saw just a minute ago, I trimmed up the flowers that I bought at the farm stand yesterday and I put them in that little vase. I also added some flowers from my yard. I had some zinnias um, that were still blooming in my garden, so I, Pick those as well because I love them, they're so pretty. What do you think of the spooky Halloween decor, Andrew? Ooh, spooky. <laughs> A pumpkin. I know. The table's not very, not super decorated by any means. We have a pumpkin, the candles, and then I put those flowers there. And Luna's having her dinner right now. <laughs> So yesterday I had mentioned that we had decorated the living room, but I was doing it a little different because we were baby proofing it. Well, this morning, Andrew, mostly Andrew, not I wasn't really involved. <laughs> Andrew installed some of the baby proofing and we have it mostly done and set up in here. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. So you'll see here that we moved our TV onto the wall and we have it pushed back against the wall. And now we have this um, TV stand cleared off and we're using it as like a little um, Montessori play shelf for Luna. There's still some stuff that we need to put away. There is Andrew's old PlayStation and then um, this electric stuff. We're going to get electric stuff. There's the Wi-Fi and the new PlayStation. We're going to get a shelf for the wall and put that up there and then we have some cords that we're going to put a box around but it's basically how it's gonna look. And we have some Halloween themed stuff here. Some Halloween books. There's some more Halloween books in here too. We got our Clifford's Halloween. I love this. Unfortunately, I didn't find a board book um, version of this. So we're not gonna leave this on the shelf because she could easily rip the pages. But I just, it's such a cute book. She really likes Clifford. And then we have Corduroy's Trick or Treat here as well, which I can leave here. And then the pumpkin from the farm stand we brought in here. And we're just going to leave over here because she loves to play with it. She just hit it. Um, and then her little stuffed animal pumpkin. It's her signature move. <laughs> okay. I think that... It, we are going to relax now. We had a pretty busy day today. Mm -hmm. um, Especially you. Yeah, busy day. We, our family came over, Andrew's family came over with all the kids and we had a lot of fun with mm -hmm. the kids playing with Luna, but the wild. It was just a lot of chaos. <laughs> so yeah. I think we're gonna just relax and watch a show. We started watching Only Murders in the Building and I really like it. 
Andrew doesn't like it that much. He finds it's, it boring. It's okay, but it I do I find it boring. It's I like it because it's like a mystery, but it's also a little bit funny and it's not super creepy and scary. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of getting me into the I mean, not that I need to be getting into the fall spirit because I'm already in the fall spirit, but I don't know, it kinda like sets the mood for fall. It's like not too spooky, but spooky and just I don't know. I like it. It's cozy spooky. Because you and, like murder mysteries. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know. I really enjoy it. Um we're on the, is this the last episode of the first season? Yeah, I think so. I think we're on the, yeah, the final episode of the first season, but I think there's like four seasons or something. See, I didn't know that for some reason. I mean, we are really late to this, I guess, but I thought there was just one season and that we were about to finish it, so I was really sad. So mm -hmm. Andrew said that last night, so I was really excited that there's more seasons. <laughs> yeah, there's several seasons out, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna, we have a little bit of apple cider left, so I'm going to... Get us some apple cider, and then we can just chill on the couch and watch the show. Sounds good. Mm -hmm.